Hey, everybody. Look who we're here with, old friend, Scott Baker. Scott Baker, where are we? We are at Five Generation Bakers in McKees Rocks. Thanks for coming to my bakery today. Five Generation Bakers, literal term. We've been around for five generations, and we are the makers of Jenny Lee Swirl Bread. Okay, why are we here today? I'm so excited. Oh, man, we are doing Picklesburg this week. I am super amped. Yeah. And I mean, it's we're already been so busy. In the next couple of days, the weather looks perfect. We are on a goal to make 10,000 grilled cheese sandwiches. So we're gonna show you what that's all about. What kind of pickle? What is your pickle all of right. choice? So yeah, we, we partnered with Flippin' Pickles out of Erie, PA, <laughs> mother, daughter, small company. Nice. Uh, they go around to festivals selling their pickles. They're really good, by the way. That's why we chose them. Not because um, there are pickle princesses, but because their pickles are really particularly good so they smell so good as soon as yes. you opened up that vat of them oh so fresh they smell so good all right all right so let's oh get, gonna get down to business here so all right we are making three different grilled cheese sandwiches we have a line of savory breads mm -hmm. uh, people know us really well for our sweet cinnamon breads um breakfast and snack time we make these savory breads they're just phenomenal for lunch dinner um, great grilled cheese sandwiches. Yes. Um, they make great carriers to uh, hamburgers. Um, mm -hmm. Just any kind of decadent, savory sandwich that you like. So how do you, are you the one, are you and your team who came up with the different combos? Yes. And how did you, how did you do it? Or how did, did, how did you, well, you decide know what? what went with what? I, I got to think about this. I, I got sure. I got to drink to think. I'm pr I've been practicing because I want to be the Duke of drinking at the pickle contest, uh, the <laughs> Olympicals. They're having the Olympicals. And um, yeah. one of the competitions is pickle drinking contest. I know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's doing it. You guys better look out. I'm winning this thing. I should have timed that. <sighs> that was really impressive. That wasn't as much. They're going to make me drink 32 ounces. But I've been testing my tolerance. Okay, that I'm, was impressive. I am ready. I am ready. Is it refreshing a little bit? Oh, it absolutely. Like? I love pickle juice. If folks at home were thinking, oh, okay, what are some, there are like reasons why these combinations work. Like what made you say, okay, you know, or even if you're doing the spicy hmm. one, and of course you're doing sort of spicy, but what made you think tomato basil will go with the spice? Um, you know, maybe? California's the, the left coast. They're kind of crazy out there. You know, a little bit of uh, spice things up a little bit. Um, they're hot, right? So okay. let's, let's okay. make that a little bit spicy. Yeah. I think Swiss and garlic just go hand in hand. To me, I, I always like a little bit of garlic with, with anything um, Swiss cheese flavored. So, you know, that's why I put the Swiss cheese on the, uh, on the garlic. And really with that olive, we just wanted something that was going to be ooey gooey and just mm. that cheese melting and, and strung out. Oh my gosh. Right? The balance of everything. Oh, and that bite of the pickle is just enough, but the cheese evens it out. We mm -hmm. still get creamy. You get crunchy. Oh, and that garlic. There it is. It yep. takes a second. All right. I'll be here finished. I'll be eating all 10,000 the next four days. So <laughs> come visit them as soon as it opens. 